my little learners i hope you all are well by the grace of almighty allah take my heart i welcome all of you with the islamic greetings assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may peace mercy and blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behold on all of you my little brothers and sisters today i will try to solve the questions which is mentioned in your elementary mathematics books in page number 47 there has the questions of multiplication so in this class we will try to solve all of them and try to learn the tips and tricks of multiplication so let's go to the board and try to see the questions the students you can see the questions which is mentioned in page number 47 but i know that it is too small to see so that is why in the next slide i was write these questions boldly so that you can write this and you can easily read this the students you can see there has two questions in question number one the question is there are three wheels of a rickshaw how many wheels would be for five rickshaws and in question number two the question is three guavas can arrange on a plate how many guavas need to arrange four plates the students in my earlier lectures in my earlier class i was mentioned that whenever you will try to solve any types of problems any types of questions before that you should collect the data from that particular questions or that particular math so in this math or in this question we can see that the data which is mentioned here is three wheels and five rickshaws so how can we connect these different data so that we can easily solve this problem and so that we can easily customize or summarize this question so now we will try to solve question number one so let's go to the screen and try to solve question number one the students it is answer of the question number one and in the first line you should write that one rickshaw has three wheels the students in the first line you should write that one rickshaw has three wheels and in the next line you should write that five rickshaws have three into five wheels the students can you guess that why i write a has here and why i write a have here the students it is a simple question and the answer will be like that there has just a one rickshaw and one rickshaw is a sim singular number and that is why we write a has here but five rickshaws is a plural number and that is why we write a have here the students i hope you all will understand that why i write a has here and why i write a have here the students if you understand that now focused on that here we can see that three into five that means we multiply these three with this five and the answer will be that 15 so if we multiply 3 with this 5 the answer will be 15 so the answer of question number 1 will be 15 so finally whenever you will try to solve the questions in the last line you should always write the answer of this question so in this question the answer will be 15 wills the students i hope you all will understand the questions and also you all will understand the solution the students now we will try to solve question number 2 but before that we will try to again read question number two so go to the page and try to read question number two you can see that in question number two the author asked that three guavas can arrange on a plate how many guavas need to arrange four plates the students just think about the question and try to collect the data and information from here the students you can easily notice that there has the data of three guavas and four plates so try to understand that how can we connect these two types of data so that we can easily solve this question so the students now i will show you how to solve this question so go to the screen and try to answer of question number two so this is the answer of question number two and in the first line you should write that one plate can be arranged by three guavas and it is mentioned in question 
and in the next line you should write that four players can be arranged by three multiply or three into four guavas so why I write this three into four here the students just see that hey, there has a three and there has a four so whenever we will try to multiply this three with this four it will be like that so that is why we write this three into four but remember you should write a first bracket here so that these maths will be noticeable so in the next in the next line we should write that 3 into 4 is equal to 12 and that is why there the answer will be 12 guavas so in the final line you should write that the answer will be 12 guavas the students i hope you all were got the answer and you all were understand the solution of question number two so this was very very easy questions so in the next topic or in the next tutorial i will try to solve another types of questions hope you all will understand the solutions and questions which i were described today but if you have any types of problems or doubts you can write me on the comment comment box so that i can answer you well so goodbye and take care see you later